Oh, it's Petra. Predictions in Group A. I see Argentina top in the group in comfortably, Chile coming in second, Canada in third, and Peru in fourth. This is a very simple group for Argentina, and if anything, I think this is very bad preparation for them for the latter stages against more difficult opponents, because the other three teams are really in an awkward phase in football at the moment. Peru and Canada are well beyond their peak, and they're kind of just dropping off, really. And for Chile, they're slowly getting a bit better, still not in a good phase but I think they could win against the other opponents and maybe Canada could nick in that win or something against Peru. Group B this is the most even and open group and I found this the most difficult to predict as well but I'm gonna go with Ecuador top in the group in first, Venezuela in second, Mexico in third and Jamaica in fourth. This group could really go either way but the reason I say Mexico not to get quarterfinals is they're just not that good. They're really inconsistent. Their style of play is confusing. There doesn't seem to be good cohesion. Yes, they won the Gold Cup, but before that and after, their form has been really inconsistent as well. And Venezuela and Ecuador are just better teams. They play better styles of football. There's more team chemistry. And Venezuela has been doing particularly well this World Cup qualifiers too. And I see them continuing some good form into this Copa America. Group C, I see Uruguay top in the group in first, USA coming in second, Panama in third and Bolivia in fourth. Bielsa ball is working really well for Uruguay right now. They look really good under Bielsa and there seems to be very good chemistry and a lot of the players are in good form as well at the moment and I see Uruguay going far this tournament and Panama did really well the last Gold Cup and it was gutting that they didn't win and they could have to be honest but USA being hosts and I feel like USA has a better chance against Uruguay on their day. Group D, this is certainly the most difficult group this tournament. I see Colombia topping the group in first, Brazil coming in second, Paraguay in third, and Costa Rica in fourth. There's got to be a surprise within the group stages, eh? And Colombia are on a 21-match unbeaten streak going into this tournament. That is incredible form. They're looking very good as well. And for Brazil, they are looking really good under their new manager Dorival Jr. However, it is a difficult ask, you know, to straight away be thrown into this difficult group. On to the quarterfinals. First game, Argentina-Venezuela. I see Argentina winning this game very comfortably within 90 minutes. Nothing else to say, really. Very simple game. Second quarterfinal, Ecuador versus Chile. I see Ecuador winning this game. They're just a better team than Chile. And I see this being a game where this goals galores, many goals, and see it being like a typical South American, just defences are let loose and everything. Everyone's just going for the goals and I could see this fixture ending in 90 minutes or at the dead extra time or penalties and it could go either way really but I see this being Ecuador's first knockout game fixture win within over 30 years. Next game Uruguay Brazil. I actually see Uruguay winning this game within 90 minutes or in added extra time. I see this being a Copa America classic getting really feisty yellow card red cards and this will be Dorival Jr's biggest challenge as Brazil manager. I'm not sure how you will manage a knockout game against Uruguay as well, like such a difficult fixture. And if there is a team to outclass Brazil, it is Uruguay. They are quite a bogey team for them. And I see Bielsa ball working just really well in this kind of game. I know I mentioned in Bielsa a lot, but it's also great to see him succeed in international football again. That's called final game, Colombia versus USA. I see Colombia winning this game within 90 minutes. I think it'll be a close game though, and USA will push Colombia. On to the semi-finals. First game, Argentina-Ecuador. I see Argentina winning this game within 90 minutes. I don't think it'll be a comfortable win. I think Ecuador will really push them. And I would like to see Ecuador make their first Copa America final, but... Argentina's just got that experience, unfortunately, and I see them just digging in deep, jamly, working their way through this fixture. The other semi-final, uruguay Colombia. I could actually see Colombia winning this game within added extra time or even penalties. I see Nestor Lorenzo just tactically being better than Bielsa, and not going to lie, it's typical Bielsa to just don a difficult opponent to the previous match and then just get it absolutely wrong the next match. And this is also the type of game where I could 
picture Darwin Nunez to just be really bad off. That leaves the third match playoff between Ecuador and Uruguay. I see Uruguay winning this game within 90 minutes. I just see them taking this game far more seriously than Ecuador. That would leave us with a final of Argentina versus Colombia and I see Argentina winning this fixture within added extra time or even on penalties and if my predictions are correct Colombia would have been on a 27 unbeaten match streak before this match but I do see them agonizingly breaking that and losing it at the worst possible time. The main reason I say this is because Argentina's running to the final would have been far simpler than Colombia's therefore they can really crank up the gear and they know how to dig deep they know how to navigate through finals now and jammily you know work their way through even when they're not playing well and I think this discrepancy between the two teams will be very clear as I genuinely think Colombia would play better and be far more attacking but as we know finals is not about how well you play it's about how well you can manage the game and manipulate it a little bit into your favor and the last time Colombia was in a final was over 20 years ago when they last won the Copper America. So there you have my predictions for the 2024 Copper America. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Who do you think will win this Copper America? And as always, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next video.